Hi dear friends, welcome back to Curious Wit. I am Dr. Mohsina. In today's video, we will discuss a, a very small topic, but it is a very important disease condition and false. So let's start today's topic, neonatal encephalopathy in false, also known as neonatal maladjustment syndrome. This disease have two other names as well, hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy and dummy fall syndrome. So all these names uh, are the synonyms of the same disease, neonatal encephalopathy, neonatal maladjustment syndrome, hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy or dummy fall syndrome. It is used to describe a variety of behavioral disturbances in a newborn foal. A history of difficult birth, premature placental separation, Placental inflammation may be noted. The birth could have appeared normal. It is believed to be the result from decreased oxygen reaching the false tissues during birth. This causes varying degrees of damage to the central nervous system of the fall depending on the age of the fetus, the length of oxygen deprivation and on how low the oxygen level was. The central nervous system signs may be the most obvious but other systems such as kidneys, heart, GI tract and lungs may also be affected by the oxygen deprivation. Now let's see the clinical findings of neonatal maladjustment syndrome. Signs vary ranging from a slow suckle response at birth to hyperexcitability. Then there will be aimless wandering, depression, lying prone, loss of muscle tone and seizures. In a common scenario, the fall appears normal at birth and progressively loses interest in its dam and it loses its suckle reflex can no longer stand and begins to have seizures. The foal may start vocalizing, which has been described as sounding like a barking dog. Thus, the term barker foal is also sometimes used to describe this condition. So, the foal start vocalizing sounding like a barking dog that is why this condition is also known as barker fall now coming to the treatment so diagnosis is based on the clinical signs then coming to the treatment supportive care anticonvulsants fluid therapy and oxygen supportive care includes fluid therapy and pressure agents as well Therapy for the various manifestations of hypoxia and ischemia involves control of seizures and cerebral edema, support of cerebral perfusion, correction of metabolic abnormalities, maintenance of normal blood gas values, tissue perfusion and renal function, treatment of GI dysfunction, prevention, recognition and early treatment of secondary infections and supportive care. Seizures must be controlled because they increase cerebral oxygen consumption by 5 fold. Diazepam 0.1 to 0.44 mg per kg IV and midazolam 0.04 to 0.1 mg per kg IV slow can be used for emergency therapy. But the foal must be monitored for respiratory depression as well. For severe or persistent seizures, phenobarbital 2 to 3 mg per kg IV 2 to 3 times daily or a CRI that is concentrate infusion of midazolam 2 to 5 mg per hour for a 50 kg fold may be instituted.
There is another procedure known as Medigan fold squeeze. Medigan fold squeeze technique is a procedure in which thoracic pressure is applied to a young fold in order to induce recumbency and a slow wave sleep. So uh, this picture shows the way the fold is restrained and uh, in order to induce recumbency like uh, seen in this picture. The, this procedure can be used as a method of restraint or as a treatment for folds exhibiting clinical signs of neonatal maladjustment syndrome. If the fold does not also have an infection or limb paralysis, the outlook for neonatal encephalopathy is far to good. About 80% of these folds recover and grow to be normal adults. So if there is no infection or limb paralysis, uh, it is, this disease have a good prognosis, fair to good. With good supportive care, improvement can be seen every day. Mildly affected folds can recover in two days, but most severely affected folds may take more than a week before they are able to recognize their dam and suckle. So that's all about neonatal maladjustment syndrome or Barker fold. So this disease is a very small topic but it is an important one. So go through all the aspects of this disease. Then Madigan fold squeeze technique uh, etc. So if the video is informative and useful please like it and share it with your friends. Comment your suggestions. If you are watching this video and not subscribed yet. Please subscribe and click the notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a video. See you soon with another video. Thank you. Bye.